So why do things continue to exist? I mean, I exist, you exist, I assume, but why do you continue to be rather than just vanish into nothing? Have you ever wondered that? Well, if you're trying to understand the deep questions about existence, then you've got to think about not just why things exist, but why things persist, why they continue to exist. To help us to think about that, imagine that this cup here represents an empty reality. But then when this cup has something in it, that represents a reality with something in it. One question is why is there something rather than nothing? Let's just assume for sake of argument that there is no explanation for that, it's just a brute fact. We still have this further question, why do there continue to be things? Why does reality continue to have something in it rather than nothing? Why don't things just vanish? I'm gonna consider three possibilities. First, you might think that there's a law that says of existing things, you shall continue to exist. The law doesn't explain existence, doesn't explain why there's something rather than nothing. Rather, it explains persistence. It explains why the things that do exist continue to exist. So imagine that this represents the law and things stay in existence, they don't fall out of existence and vanish because the law upholds them. It seems to me that this law explanation leaves open this deeper question. In particular, it leaves open why the law continues to exist. If we say of the law that it persists, and it has to persist in order to continue to be the explanation for why things, everything else persists, then we can ask why it persists. Is there some other law that says of it, that it shall continue to exist? Ultimately, it seems like we've got to say something like this law necessarily exists and upholds things in existence. But then this leads to a second proposal, which is that there's something and there continues to be something because there is something that necessarily persists. In other words, if you have something, whether it's a law or anything else, that is necessarily included within reality, then that will explain why things continue to be, but it also explains why things are in the first place. So this theory of existence explains both existence and persistence. But what if you think instead that it's just a brute fact that things exist? Right? Well then, you can't appeal to a necessarily existing law because that provides an explanation for why there's something rather than nothing in terms of the necessity of there being something, namely that law. Let's say instead that it's a brute fact that things exist and that they persist. That's the third option. It's not just a brute fact that things exist, but also that they continue. It's just, you know, we continue to exist and there's no deeper explanation for that. Here I think is a problem that often is overlooked. I myself didn't really see this until I began to think carefully about what this implies. The problem has to do with probability. So imagine you've got a coin and you flip it and it constantly comes up heads. It persists in coming up heads. Now one idea is that we can explain why it keeps coming up heads in terms of the nature of the coin. Maybe it comes up heads because it cannot not. It's heads on both, both sides. Right, or it's loaded in some way. But suppose instead that that's not the answer. We have a brute fact theory. It just keeps coming up heads and there's no deeper explanation for that. Well, but then it's very unlikely that it would continue to come up heads, and especially if it's been coming up heads from all of eternity, right? An infinite number of heads. That would be like a universe that's always existed from all of eternity without any explanation, not just for its existence, but for its persistence at each moment. The probability of that is just ridiculously low because it seems unlikely without any explanation why things would con continue to be. So it seems to me that in order to avoid the problem of improbability, we need an explanation, something that, that would account for why and how the coin would keep coming up heads. And similarly, that would account for how and why things would continue to exist, why you and I would continue to be rather than just pop out of being. Well, then this takes me back to one of the original solutions, namely that there is something at the foundation of all things, which has self-existence. It exists because it cannot not, and it sustains the existence of everything else. This would provide an explanation for how it can be that things persist across infinite time. But without a self-existent theory, then we're left with this deep puzzle, not only of existence, not only is existence unexplained, 
but persistence too. And that's really strange. Now maybe you have an idea for how we can explain persistence without appealing to anything that has necessary existence, or without appealing to necessity at all. Well, I would love to hear that. I mean, I would be, just be very curious to find out more about possible theories to account for persistence. Obviously, I've got much to learn, and the purpose of this whole worldview channel is to build a reasonable view of the world, and so I love hearing from you guys. What do you think? What does explain why we don't just vanish? What's the best explanation of that?